Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own amaretto from scratch using just a handful of ingredients and it's nut free. That's right, I'm not using any almonds to make this almond flavored liqueur. Amaretto is a staple at any bar. It's used in plenty of popular cocktails like amaretto sours. I also used it in my Persian love cake cocktail. It adds a delightful almond flavor to cocktails, but a little goes a long way. Most commercially made amaretto is way too sweet and not balanced at all. It's likely made not using the best ingredients and even uses food coloring to give it its amber color. My amaretto recipe is less sweet, slightly bitter, and has a really nice toasty almond flavor, despite not using any almonds and using all natural ingredients. The main ingredient in this recipe are vanilla, apricots, and malab. Malab is a spice that's used throughout the Middle East and Greece as a baking spice. It is essentially made from the kernels inside the pits of cherries. These kernels are extremely fragrant and taste like bitter almond and cherry. It's typically ground into a powder and used in baking breads and desserts. Cherry pits, as well as other stone fruit pits, contain amygdalin, which when ingested becomes cyanide. So do not eat these raw. Most malab you buy in a spice store will typically have been processed to remove the amygdalin. But just to be extra safe, I recommend toasting them in the oven since heat destroys the chemical compound. I'm toasting one teaspoon of malab for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After toasting, they will smell really fragrant like cherries. I let them cool a bit, then slightly crush them with a mortar and pestle. Don't grind them too much or it will be really hard to strain out the malab powder. Now I'll just cover these with a half a cup of vodka and let this steep for one to two weeks. The vodka has taken on a tan hue and is slightly cloudy. The next step is to infuse some brandy with apricots and vanilla. I'm using six apricots. These ones are Turkish apricots that are unsulfured. I'm just roughly chopping these to increase the surface area for the infusion. I'm also adding half of a vanilla bean pod. I'm just using the pod, so I'll scrape out the seeds and use them for another baking project. I'll place the apricots and vanilla into a sealable container and add 3 quarter cup of brandy. This needs to infuse overnight. This apricot brandy came out so well, I think I might just have to make a batch to use on its own. For my simple syrup, I used a quarter cup of white sugar, a quarter cup of demerara sugar, and a half a cup of water. I heated them all together until the sugar is dissolved. Once that's cooled off, we can go ahead and blend all of these components. First, I'm straining the malab infusion. Next, I'll strain the infused brandy. And lastly, I'm stirring in the simple syrup. While you can use this right away, I recommend letting it bottle condition for two weeks. You'll see some sediment forming at the bottom that you can strain out. Alternatively, you can check out my video on using wine fining agents to clear your homemade liqueur that I will link below. But today, I'm just too impatient to wait. So I'm going to taste this side by side with some Disarono Amaretto. Just off the bat, you can see a big difference in color and clarity. Mine will get lighter as it stands, but right now it's pretty dark, almost opaque. They're both very fragrant. Di Sirono has a strong bitter almond scent, while mine has a lot more cherry and toasted almond on the nose. Di Sirono tastes a bit harsh. It's very sweet, almost medicinal, but pleasantly so. My homemade amaretto, while a bit less harsh, will mellow with time. It's a bit more balanced, with less sweetness and more of a nutty flavor. It has an ever so slight bitterness that gives it structure. I think it turned out fantastic and I'm really looking forward to trying it again in two weeks. To test out this homemade amaretto, I'm going to make an amaretto sour using Jeff Morgenthaler's recipe. I'm using one bar spoon of rich demerara syrup, one ounce of lemon juice, one and a half ounces of my homemade amaretto, and three quarter ounce of bourbon. 
I'm shaking this with three small ice cubes till they dissolve. Then I'm adding three dashes of vegan foamer in place of egg white. I'll strain this into a rocks glass with ice and garnish with one of my homemade brandy cherries. And wow, this tastes so good. Usually amaretto sours are way too sweet, but by using a better quality amaretto, along with bourbon, we've taken this drink to a whole new level. This is why I like making my own homemade liqueurs. It is a time commitment, but you're in control of sourcing the top quality ingredients you're using and can add more or less to suit your own tastes. I'm very happy with the taste of my amaretto, and I'm excited to pair it with other spirits in other cocktail recipes. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you all again very soon with some more cocktail content. I have some great holiday ideas in the works. See you all soon. Cheers.